Six beer bar. We're definitely not stopping there. <laughs> get in the gym, get in a routine, and see where that takes you. And that's how most people end up getting on a competition stage. We're on our way to the gym. We picked the best weather ever. We go from a hundred and how much was the temperature in Vegas? One hundred fifteen. 115s to rains and boss actually yesterday was beautiful <laughs> but we're here uh we're here in the city we're gonna cross, let's cross the street right now and uh they were nice enough to give us the umbrella yeah so we're going to hit a workout right now we make sure we get a train abs say we skipped abs yesterday so one thing that we always do and you guys know i always talk about this we never miss the workouts, that's one thing I always say. So we're walking about 10 minutes to the gym, around the corner, gym hub. We'll get a couple sets in here. And this is our, show a, little bit, show a little bit of the of our view as we're walking here. All right, so last night we, this is the city. We actually walked this way last night. In the and, rain. Uh, yeah, and we walked <laughs> to a sushi restaurant. So we had sushi. Ruga. Even though I have my meals at the room. I uh, want to make sure I have uh, my calories. As we went, we went to the gym, right? And we yeah. we actually trained, and then we went to like a late dinner, like probably like 9.30. And uh, she found a place that was open until 12. Let's cross the street so we don't have to go through this tunnel again. That was a pain in the ass yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> so trying to get through that little tunnel was yeah, hilarious. Show, show them, yeah. And this big ass umbrella. I was like trying not to hit the side. She's like, "Oh, you got this." I'm like, it's like trying to drive a a big a trailer rig. truck through a bridge that doesn't fit, you know. You right, can so, see how big this umbrella is. Go ahead, Dale. Yeah. Let you see. Yeah, shout out Young LA for lacing me up. Young LA had the toe socks, everything. Make sure you guys use my code, Cutler. <laughs> Safe. A little plug. All right, so I've been talking about this forever, guys. Is the uh, the really low tricep push downs? As you can see, Andrew's got the. She's doing it. So about 120 guys, this is my third, this is my third set, so I did the two field sets already. So what I'm gonna do is get a little closer to the machine, okay? I'm gonna focus, try to get 12, but I might do a little more actually. So we're gonna do something that we never get to put on film. This is the flex leverage. It's perfect. I always talk about where to pull on the lats to trigger those lower lats and the outer lats. The handles come perfect right here. So if you guys have the opportunity to work out on this, it's super old school. Probably not in a lot of gyms, but flex leverage. I want you guys to check out. Okay, so shoulder width grip. Just the best exercise to yank those lats.
think it really doesn't matter. I, I'm doing ropes today just because I want to feel something different. Last week I actually did these with a bar. So I'm going to come through the body. I try to keep the body upright. I really feel this in the lower lats, Christmas tree area. Get that nice stretch here, guys. So what we're really trying to do, so we're doing two of these and we did two press downs. So what we're really trying to do is get the contraction. I'm trying to get Angie because she has a tendency to, to go a little fast. So I'm trying to slow her speed down a little bit further. Good. That full extension. So, you know, you guys trying to tighten up the back of the arm, especially the females. So I know some of you guys, your females watch these YouTubes. That's why I always like training with Angie because it showcases a little bit. So I'll tell you, I was saying, What's you know, if you watch our, some of my old videos, you know, I always said to Angie, I said, the female workout partners are always the best. And, and we've been actually, we've been training together now for what, a couple weeks? Almost a month. Okay. So Angie's. Angie's on a mission to get her body right. I don't know if necessarily it's competition, but maybe it leads into that. But that's the, what's ideal about going into your training and not having expectations because you work with your body. So sometimes it's not necessary to plan. It's always important to just get in the gym, get in a routine and see where that takes you. And that's how most people end up getting on a competition stage. For me, you know, you guys have always watched me preparing because that was my job. But someone like her who does it for leisure and obviously is fighting mother time, we all are at this point, right? We all want to look our best at a certain age, right? You've already achieved a ton of stuff on the stage, off the stage, and now you're just trying to balance it into your life. So I think that's what's ideal. So uh, we're doing buys and tries a little bit today. Um, I just wanted to showcase a little bit so we'll get a little bit of bicep in there and then, uh, you know, we'll... Uh, finish off our Boston vlog. Sometimes people do, like me, like myself, sometimes I just really want to push myself so I will have a goal to do a straight competition and go into that mode. But right now, I want to just be more leaner, more fit, and then eventually get back into it. If you want to take either or road, it's up to you. It's up to what you can do. But talk a little bit about, so you went for blood work and obviously you're getting your hormones in place, right? So a lot right? of women, um, around my age and younger that I've been finding out anywhere between your 35 and 40s um, your hormones go all over the place some women don't have estrogen or progesterone some women lack testosterone so their menstruals are all over the place so that's why I think it's very important Jay and I like follow every year we get our blood work done a full panel to make sure we're okay and I went to a lot of times you have to go to a specialist so you can they can tell you what you're lacking in because you could tell somebody oh hey you don't have progesterone okay well what do i do <laughs> you know what i mean so make sure you have a good doctor that would explain the situation to you isn't keen on just putting you on any kind of drugs you have to make sure that it fits your program and the doctor knows what they're doing so now that i'm taking progesterone it's like i'm 21 years old all over again yeah, so basically, I'm telling you guys, get your blood panels done, get your hormones checked because it's super important, even for the females. Like she mentioned testosterone, you know, it's uh, women still have to have that a little bit in their body. So we're going to do some biceps and uh, get this working. Let's figure out what we're going to do for biceps first. The form king's back. <laughs> so first set of biceps. That stimulation there a little bit. Forties. I'm not even counting. Just, just kind of going. Come on, form king. Let's go. How'd that feel?
Here we go, we're starting our day off. Well, I'm only 10 o'clock in the morning, but we are on a three hour time differential, so I'm just amazed at how beautiful the day is. This is my breakfast, eggs, quiche, some uh, potatoes, a little bit of bacon, and my pineapple, this is Angie's. A little different from yesterday, huh? Today. Pretty cool. They have a they have a makeshift uh, bar going on over here. Beer. What? It's beer there. It's beer, beer bar. Yeah. We're definitely not stopping boring. there. <laughs> We're definitely not stopping there. So the sun is out. We went out for a walk yesterday. We had this brilliant idea about going out and walking and it was like so humid. We complain about Vegas weather and then we come here and we complain about the humidity, but to be honest, the weather's been absolutely amazing. So much construction going on in Boston right now. Welcome back. Yes, <laughs> it was a lengthy journey. I know, you were gone for a week. Your stickers look better now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the guy put some cow stickers. <laughs> I thought you were trying to be a farmer now. That's what I was kind of scared of. That's you, know? you the farmer. Yeah, I know. My dad. Yeah. I think he was proud to be a farmer, wasn't he? Well, it's a cool job. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. Actually, you know what? The older I get, and the more I wouldn't mind living on a farm. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think I think raising my I mean, my brother's a farmer. He's a uh, my brother's raising cattle over there, and I was just back on the family farm. Yeah, we that just was back, great. Uh, I'm glad I got to see it. Actually. Yeah, my mom brought up the the time you guys showed up. She's like, all these big guys got out of the car, and <laughs> next thing you know, it was it was Dave. Oh, man, that was great when we saw your mom. Yeah, my stepfather was like, these huge guys. He was talking about you, Per, <laughs> yeah. the kid, and uh, and Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna see her this weekend, you know. He, yeah, so he says that Sunday, he's coming on Sunday, Sunday or Monday, yeah. Yeah, he says we're gonna go eat or something. Yeah. yeah, so I just did an East Coast trip. I did uh, Boston and New York City, and it was uh, it was good to go back. I got to see my mom, my brothers, my sisters. Nice. And uh, it was really hot. Yeah. Really hot. But you know, you talk about roots and growing up and. You know, I think really what a lot of people's upbringing, it molds them, whether they had a rough childhood or they had, you know, a, a successful one, you know, growing up in a family business I, like myself. I mean, yeah. you know, that commitment and that dedication really, I always talk about set me up for a lot of my long term success because, you know, t being taught how important it was to you know, adapt to a certain time schedule. Mm -hmm. And I always mention that, you know, I was felt like I was in an unfavorable position because I had to work before school and after school and school vacations, weekends where, wow. you know, everyone else, it seemed like everyone else was out enjoying the processes of being, you know, a teenager and, yeah. you know, going on family vacations. That's one thing I have a hard time with, and I talk about that pretty often, is I have that joke, vacations for quitters, right? Because, yeah. because I feel like, because I own my own business, it's never stops, right? I'm still yeah. on a computer or whatever else. Yeah. But I feel like I have a hard time adapting to taking downtime, which I would honestly say, I can see where people's, uh, you know, their comments and what, what they suggest to me is like, yes, it's, it's always good to take that break because I did feel like I had clarity when I came back yesterday and I sat in my office yeah. and I had a lot of vision of, okay, what I want to accomplish. And I feel like yesterday, I accomplished more yesterday than I did any other like week that I had a lot of things on a schedule. I oh. felt like I, I was able to be more productive. I was more responsive through emails and phone calls. That's interesting. And uh, it gave me that opportunity to have a little more clarity. So as much as I think every day, getting on my treadmill, doing my fasted cardio, uh, I can kind of reset and I can get my mindset for the day. 
I really think that sometimes stepping away from routine, I didn't even do fasted cardio all week. Dude. Wow. For the first time in I don't know how long. And as you know, I mean, I'm, I'm in kind of a, a so-so transformation right now. Yeah. I mean, I got training in a lot of days, but to be honest, we took like the last three days. I got to train last night. So you texted me late um, and I was at the gym. Yeah, yeah. Because I was stuck at the office and playing catch up and you can imagine what it, my desk oh, looked yeah. like, you know. But the nice thing is I handled a lot of that stuff on the road and a lot of my things are viral now, so it's a little easier for me. Yeah. So it was good, you know. But a lot has happened, man. I mean, we had an attempt assassination on the you know, oh, president. And, uh, yeah. you know, there's this, this rumor now of, you know, the Democratic, you know, side stepping down. Like, yeah. This weekend, I don't know if that's, if that's truth or not. But, you know, the, the world's just, you know what I have to say about politics is I think both sides have a lot of issues, but at the same time, uh, it, it's, it creates this, um, this media buzz that's just a negative vibe. The yeah. media is the problem. Uh, that's true. You know what I mean? And that's I think true. that, not, not to say I think both parties, as you see with the ad campaigns, like they trash each other, right? Yeah, yeah. Where it's just, it causes, every, it causes people to take sides. Division. And then yeah. it, it makes them like get into verbal wars and internet wars and that kind of stuff, which I, I hate to see that, you yeah. know? That's what the world has come to though, and it's very unfortunate. And I mean, I'm proud to say I'm on the Republican side, but I can't wait till it's over, dude. Yeah, I know because I can't wait. It's just like the world is kind of on a hold or in a standstill, yeah. and then you have uproars like this yeah. that cause it. Like no one should, no one should be concerned for their life, dude. That's crazy. You know, it shouldn't come to that. So it's just very unfortunate. Uh, but I mean, come on, man. It could have been another JFK incident. I know. I mean, that's really what it. I mean, it's you know? a. It's by luck or, or Die. whatever else. I mean that it, that it didn't happen. Yeah. But it's hard to believe that. It's hard to believe that it wasn't triggered by, some some internal something with. I mean, Secret Service. I mean, you can't get near the president. You know. Yeah. Well. I don't know. Yeah. Tough, tough one. But, yeah. uh, yeah. So I'm kind of back on track now. We have had a lot of contests. I mean, you know, we've seen you know, now the, uh, the Vancouver, that's right. You know, John Jewett won out there and he's dangerous. That one. Yeah. He's pretty good, right? He's very good. But how do you feel about another two twelve guy making an impact? Yeah. He was a two twelve. you know, that's right. That's right. He's always on. So Chicago is this weekend. Chicago is tomorrow. I hope Stan does so, well. So we are looking for Stan Amol to kind of yeah. get some redemption. He didn't really get in there to I know he was second to do damage. Year. And you know, yeah. I like seeing like like Tim get in there. Tim was close. He could have won He's against very good. John. I mean, he yeah. hopefully Chicago, I mean he's he's looking pretty good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be good to see. But we're yeah. back in the routine now, guys. Back to our our jaywalks and yes. our, you know, we'll have a training feature and, you know, I'll, I'm going to showcase some of my Boston trip in this vlog. Oh, nice. So I already have the footage. So once, once we get this sent over, this will complete our Tuesday. And, nice. uh, but everything, you know, everything's smooth. Like this, I want to talk once again about routine. Um, you know, sometimes it's good to exit your mind a little bit, take a little break. Yeah. You know, I had, a, I, I really wanted to go see my mom because you know, my mom's 83 now, man. Yeah, she's getting older. And, uh, Does she look like she's getting older? Um, you know, she's slowed down. She's yeah. slowed down. But, you know, you would probably say your mom still looks the same. Yeah. But I was watching, like, the 05 Olympia. Yeah. And that's when we all went to dinner and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she looked pretty young there, man, to be honest. You, you, didn't your whole family came? Well, the... remember, we had it. We sat yes. at the big table and we yeah, ate yeah, in, yeah. In, the, uh, in the One Step Closer DVD. So if you guys want to check that out, it is that's on our right. YouTube channel. One step clo closer DVD. But I remember one year where we actually took a picture of all your family. There was like. Pfft. Yeah, I think that was. I think that was around that time. Yeah. I think 06, I think they all came okay. by one. Ah, oh, that was great. But guys, keep crushing your goals. Um, we'll be back for another episode. Someone's got some leaky water here. That's not good. Again, this guy. Yeah, I know. It's just.
is supposed to come actually replace my irrigation pretty soon. But keep crushing it, guys. For Dave and I, we are out. The champ is here. Full time body. You made it. <laughs> What's going on? Big party. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were hiding in the corner, so I wasn't. No, I was waiting, waiting for you. I came in the back. Oh. And I'll go right out this way. I see. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Andy's got like a booth with the food and stuff here. It's protein house, yeah. You better get your meals and get that body. I just, program. I just had, uh, guys, hey, just had some food. Good to see you guys. Good see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Three people to run the desk today, huh? Four. <laughs> I got a name tag for you. <laughs> How you doing, man? Buddy? Flex your muscles or let's flex your muscles. Put them on the biceps. Put them on the most muscular. You're gonna hit the most muscular. Say publicly. I know. I apologize. Who? One time when I didn't supposed to. <laughs> what? Well, we can do that. <laughs> you know, we, can, we can say who has better abs right now. Right this moment. He ate a lot last, last night. Loading. <laughs> Milos TV. Uh, Every the problem is is every time we do a podcast now without you, have, the team is you have your team Milos is yeah. like. So complaining. Where's Milos? Where complaining. Milos? Of course. We had on Seth Rosen and since we have Milos. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys sweating or? Yeah, it's a lot. I bet. You know, Matt's in Dubai right now. Yeah. They've been drinking. Well, they went from somewhere to Dallas. They're staying there for like a week and a half. Yeah, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> At least. He says it's so blazing hot there right now, it's ridiculous. Were you there in Dubai? Yeah, we didn't do summers. Yeah, it's really, is it hotter than here? It's way cool. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like Florida. Yeah, he said like Florida. No mercy for you, no worries for you. That game of thrones, go Cersei on you. I flipped the script, I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep, cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut me?